all right now we are on to the advanced dashes these dashes are useful but they are very very hard to do well not very difficult but it takes a lot of practice to get consistent like it takes so much practice that even i am not too consistent in these dashes but these dashes are very useful in situations and you should definitely know how to do them so the first one is the charge dash uh, so these dashes are basically uh, only for the mark 2 so you should be over level 650 to do this dash if you're anything lower than level 650 then i'm sorry but you cannot do this dash until you unlock the mark 2 version of the quantum drive so in order to practice this just follow where i'm going like this is the spawn so i'm going to an area in which you can practice your dashes like uh, not your dashes but you can practice the edge dash or the charged edge dash which i'm going to show you right now so you go on this landing pad and yeah okay so this is the area you want to be in order to practice so if you are a beginner to quantum drive mark 2 uh, you should know that there are two modes of this gear so as you can see on the bottom there is like a flying figurine and like a vault like if i press g the vault mode changes like this is the slow vault if i change it that's the speed vault but that's not important so you see that figurine on the bottom right of your screen or my screen or any screen but yeah you see it changing the top one like it has some trails and it does it now it does now it doesn't so those are the two modes of the quantum drive so the one in which it doesn't have the trails at the back it is called the uh, static mode now if you have the trails behind it you can change it and toggle between them so don't worry about it so if you have the ones with like the trails behind it that is the charged mode now in order to toggle between charged and static modes you have to press 4 on your keyboard uh yeah it does not work with the numpad keys i'm sorry it only works for like the top number bar keys i don't know what to call them but yeah so what you want to do is you want to go on charge mode which is basically the one with the trails behind it now once you will be running and hold e you will see a little charge bar on the bottom now, if you release E, you will go very, very fast and you will see a little vignette. But it takes time to charge, like a few seconds to charge. And uh, you have to release E in order for it to like pull you. So the longer you charge it, the more further and more powerful your dash will be. So yeah that is the uh, charge mode now for the charged edge dash so there are two versions of the charged edge dash so the first version is just casual like you have the adrenaline belt you charge up and just do an edge dash like that but then uh, in this time this time you have to first release e like at around this area not exactly when you're literally falling but somewhat behind it so around this area or this area you have to release e and then once you start falling you have to double space as fast as you can i know this is a little confusing but don't worry everybody gets confused on their first time or whatever like if they're practicing so you have to release it sometime before you fall and you have to double space as soon as you start falling so let me just do that real quick you see i go much further than how i would usually do when i was just doing like a normal edge dash i kind of messed up there sorry about that but uh yeah so charge dashes can take you very far and it is very useful in some situations when you want to go like very 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 far uh so yeah 
The second version of the charged edge dash is the sliding version. Yeah, it sounds like a child's playground, but no, not really. I'm, I'm sorry. But uh, you charge up fully. Now, instead of releasing E at that point, you start sliding way before you reach the edge. Okay. So let me just show that to you. So, for example, I, I, I'm, I'm in static mode right now, but that doesn't really matter for now. So you start sliding from here and then once you reach around the near edge, like right here, you release, you release E and press double space as fast as you can. So it is a very, very complicated move. And even my, I myself cannot do it all the time properly. But the more you practice, the better you get. So yeah, I'm still practicing. Though being level 2245, I'm still not very good at this uh, dash. But you can see this goes much, much more further than the normal charged edge dash or any dash. This is actually the dash which takes you the furthest in the game. If you didn't know that, this, uh, that's actually the f uh, that's actually a fact. Without warden assistance, that is. Like if there is a warden assistance, then obviously you can go much, much further. So with a normal edge dash, you go like right around that point. With the charge dash, you can go all the way to that point. But with this sliding version, the max you could go is like 200 meters in like four seconds. That's actually pretty insane, but it's a very, very complicated move. Like, oh, look at that. I just did it. So yeah you need to get very consistent on this you need a lot of practice but uh well especially i i also need like a lot of practice in order to do this properly uh i will be showing you a clip of one of my friends doing it he i think he created this dash in the first place but uh yeah i will be showing you a clip of my friend doing it uh, he's a master at this game. He's like level 10,000 right now. So yeah, here's the clip So that was the clip again, you need to practice a lot it is very very difficult if you do it consistently congratulations if you can't and you do it very less amount of times like me don't worry the more you practice the better you will get as you've heard the same practice makes a man perfect so yeah that was all about the charged edge dashes like both of the versions All right, next is the charge double wall run dash. So it is basically like the last dash, which I showed you like the charged edge dash, but then you do a double wall run along with it. This makes you go extremely fast. Extremely fast. And very, very, very far. This dash along with wall runs is the farthest you can go and this dash is the hardest to do and it requires a lot of space a lot of time a lot of practice but in return it will give you a lot of speed a lot of velocity a lot of combos uh, etc so for this you basically have to do a charge dash which is like the second one of it. like uh, you have to slide e double space so you have to charge up your mark 2 you slide E and double space that takes you very far now after that you have to go to an adjacent building since it takes you very far so that is an adjacent adjacent building and then you wall run again on another adjacent building just like you did with the double edge wall and dash uh, so i have a safe position for it no not this one uh the third one yeah 
so this is the safe position for it it's like very close to the practicing of the normal charge dash like it's right over here where we practice the charge dash like from there so in this area what you have to do uh, well not in this area but in this dash you have to do the charged edge dash the version 2 wall run 1 and then you have to wall run again let me try to get this uh, perfectly so that i can show you how it works oh my god that was very fast but uh, that was just a single wall run like you have to look a bit to the left i kind of hesitate when i do that because i'm going very very fast but yeah let me just try to do it real quick oh look at that if i wouldn't have collided to that building that would have been a perfect edge wall run dash like the charge version of it if you master this dash then i heartily congratulate you because this is a very very difficult dash to master and if you mastered this dash just consider yourself to be a legend because this dash is actually very difficult i'm sorry if you see like a very uh, minor lag spikes in the video i do not know why that is happening well it's happening on my screen i don't know about the video but uh, yeah that was basically the charge double wall dash okay so this one is the slingshot dash so this is more of a very fun dash or a miscellaneous dash if you want to say so it's actually pretty fun to do uh ignore that yeah it's actually pretty fun to do it can be used for triggering bunny hops but i'm not really that great at that but, so what you have to do is uh, you have to basically do an edge dash and just look back as soon as you wall run. So on that, so that was the slingshot dash. As you can see, you can trigger bunny hops. It can be used as fun purposes as well. Like as you can see, I just did another bunny hop. So yeah, it's actually a very good dash and it's actually pretty fun to do. Like it's not too hard, but it's not too easy. Uh, but it's really really fun to mess around with and do at the same time so j to make this dash easier you basically press Q once you begin to wall run like it's basically a wall run dash like a directional dash but you look 180 degrees behind instead of any other direction and uh, I call it the slingshot dash because it fits very perfectly yeah so let me just show you a few more attempts of me doing it so i'm just gonna get my adrenaline back yeah yeah so that was the slingshot dash it's a very fun dash i recommend you trying it uh you can do this both with the quantum drive mark one and the mark two so everybody out there who has unlocked any of the quantum drive versions can have very 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 much fun with this dash so yeah enjoy